Hi, my name is Foulplay, and this is my guide on how I actually get The Sims running for months without any problems. First thing I do is follow this guide. The link will be in the description. Second thing I do is set the rebar size limit and features to be enabled for The Sims 3. To do that, open up the video profile inspector. Type in Sims 3 in profiles. It should be the first one here. Go straight down. And these are the settings I have. I have enabled. Returnal Red Dead Redemption 2. And this one should be Dragon Age and Deathloop. That's all I do from here. Third thing I do is install DXVK. Download the latest version which is from DXV GitHub. Which will be a link in the description. As so as the link for the NVIDIA Profile Inspector will be in the description as well. So make sure you check the description. Once the XVK is extracted, we have two folders. We want the X32 and we're going to place D3, D9, DLL into the game folder. Once the game folder is located, I actually put it into the game, bin and drag and drop this the D3, D9, DLL into here. That means DXVK is installed. The only thing is, we're not finished here. We need a specific file from DXVK GitHub page. Look for DXVK.conf. Click on it. Click on this little icon down. Oh, never mind. That's not what it is. Click on download raw file. Once raw file here, we have this, this one here. So you right click. Cut, find your sims directory, which is here. We not, do not place it in here because it doesn't work. For the sims, we need to place it on Steam. We need to place it into this folder, the game root directory. Open up the recently placed object, which is the text file, which we need to open it up in the text editor. So I'm going to use Notepad++. Once we're in here, we're going to look for specific items. So the items we're going to look for is these. So what we want to do is undo the hash or shop or whatever you call it. For the custom device ID, we want 1080. No, it's not a 1080 GT GTX. It is actually the device ID of a GTX 580, which is recognizable by the game. So the custom vendor ID is NVIDIA, so it's 10DE, which is NVIDIA's uh, vendor ID. Once we've done that, the XVK is set up and ready. Just to show you how to limit the frame rate in the game, because I missed a step, right click and open up dxvk.config file. Go up to where it says here, where it's the frame rate integer, or the frame rate limiter. We're going to type in 60, which is on the DX3D, sorry, D3D9 max frame rate. Set that to 60. Now your game should be 60 FPS most of the time. Here's my settings that I have with DX3K maximized now. So you can actually see it if you can't see it on any of the files like a mobile. So again, D3D9 max frame rate. D3D9 custom device ID, D3D9 custom vendor ID. The last thing I do is modify the cast values. So make sure you go to the latest episode you have installed. For me, it's episode 11, which is the latest one, which is into the future. Double click, go to game, go to bin, where it says default.ini, right click. Edit with Notepad++. Now, we're under CAS, or CAS, we want to modify Ds. So, what do value do we set them as? Well, it's a really simple number, actually. So, let's go and do the calculator. So, what we want to do is do 2 to the power of 31 minus 1, which is this number, which is 2 billion and whatever the heck. Once we've done that, where it says compose a cast size, right double click or highlight it, 
and right click and click paste highlight it, the second one right click and do paste file save once that's done that's it we don't need to do anything else with the sims anymore we already have all the bug fixes and the mods that we need installed we have dxvk installed and we have now modified the cache files and that's all i do nothing else no custom content that is related to like changing you know stuff like clothes and hairs and makeup and shit like that that's all i do and that's how i keep my sims running really good i've been foul play and ta -ra.